Would you consider a grown-ass man shitting into an adult diaper and you having to clean it up gross? My name is Andy, also known as Disco Tits, and I'm a feminist sex worker and an artist. No. No, I don't have a pimp. I guess I'm my own pimp. I meet most of my clients online through websites that I have profiles on. Backpage is like Craigslist, but mostly like services for like sex work. I have a hook a Twitter and I get clients from that, funny enough. Basic London rates, uh, kind of like 150 for an hour. But also I do discounts depending on my clients, so if they're regulars and things like that. The kind of sex work I do ranges from webcam to uh, escorting, making porn and domination services. All of my work is um, safe sex, so it's all protected. Um, unless I make porn, in which case I do the whole thing with like certificates and getting tested all the time. But I am sterilised, so I can't get pregnant, <laughs> which is great. So even if I do have an accident, I can't get pregnant. And I just have to worry about catching STDs. A, rad femmes, i.e. swerfs. A swerf is sex worker or sex work exclusionary feminist who basically also TERF, so trans, exclusionary, radical feminists. A SWERF would be like someone who's like anti-sex work, who's a feminist who's anti-sex work. It's a lot of whorephobia basically, that's, that's why it's a lot of whorephobia. Like I don't understand a feminist who will say that they're like pro like women's movements and they're pro like women have an agency, but then when it comes to sex work they're completely against it when in fact, actually sex work can give a lot of women agency. It's better than being in like minimum wage job, right? Well, can anyone be feminist <laughs> under uh, a capitalist patriarchal system? I mean, you kind of have to work with what you've got. It's a big fuck you to patriarchy as well by being a sex worker. You are choosing your hours of work. You are choo choosing your rate of pay. That gives you agency, which is essentially what patriarchy is against. If you're a woman or a femme, I can just stay in bed all day when I need to and see a client or two and it's fine. He was like this really old man. He was like in his like 70s or 80s and he wanted like hardcore spanking and he was going into surgery the next week and he was like, I might not come out of it alive, so go for it. <laughs> so, okay. But he was super lovely. I never saw him again, so I don't know what happened. Um, he might not have made it out alive. I once got a guy call me up and said that he would pay me like 10 grand or something to suck off his dog and I was like, no. <laughs> I don't know whether it was like a legit uh, request or because sometimes you get guys call you up who they just like to fap off on the phone to you and just like, like tell you what their fantasies are and stuff. And yeah, whether it was legit or not, I don't know. But that was like the, that was like the most revolting thing I've ever been asked to do. I definitely have had difficult relationships in the past with jealous ex-boyfriends since then. Um, I'm polyamorous and I only date queer people. I don't even date men anymore. So not dating men has made it a lot easier. <laughs> now a lot of my partners are also sex workers or have been sex workers or also just generally open-minded and polyamorous. I don't think legalization works. Legalization is basically giving more power to the state. That's that's essentially what it is. And you give more power to the police. Essentially like what sex workers want is decriminalization, um, which is the model they have in New Zealand. And it's meant that it's, a, it's made sex work a lot safer. Sex workers have been able to take um, brothel owners who abuse their power like to court and have actually won cases against that. Um, it means that like, you can, as a sex worker, if you've been raped, assaulted, etc., you can go to police and report it. As it stands now within the Nordic model or any other model, really, um, you can't really report 
rape to the police if you're a sex worker because then you get met with like stigma and also a lot of the time you get arrested even though you're not the perpetrator. For decriminalisation, that would be perfect. If there was less stigma around sex work as well and there was more support and that sex work would be safer.